All right, I'm starting on the steel parts of the bumpers. The customer decided to buy new parts. All we could get was chrome. So I'm going through with 80 grit, taking all the most of the gloss off that I can get with it, and the rest of it by hand with 80. I really only had to get a paint to this edge. So I'm just sanding down to that edge all the way around to the back. So that section there, then the end pieces, same thing. And there's some little caps that go over this. I may end up reusing the old ones. They're aluminum, so they're not uh, corroded like the, the steel parts were. I don't want to worry about the chrome on those. I can just sand the paint that's there. One of the front pieces, I think one of these, yeah, this one, this one's still okay. Mount's still good. There's really no rust in here. So I'm just going to reuse this piece so I can just scuff this and prime it. I don't have to worry about this chrome. Uh, the other one's, the other one's pretty slick. It's BMW part. These other ones are aftermarket. Both center pieces and the rear corners are aftermarket, so they've they've got some some ripples along the top. So I'm just going to spray this all with epoxy. I'm going to cover the entire top surface with some body filler and just block it flat, just to take some of that out. May not be perfect, but it'll be a whole lot flatter than it is now. You really can't see it, but uh, there's just typical ripples along the top, just from it being an aftermarket part. Since I've got to prime it anyway, sorry about that. Since I've got a primer anyway, I might as well just wipe some filler down it and block it out. It won't take any time at all to run a block down that. So I'm going to hit the center piece the same way, and then the two rear end pieces and this left front piece. And I'll get that epoxy. And while that epoxy is still, uh, still fresh, I'll wipe filler on all of it. All right, I've got all these metal pieces ready to epoxy. Got all the chrome sanded down. I'm just going to paint down to the down to the back edge of this, the molding comes over and overlaps this rib. It's right there. So I'm just going to epoxy right in here. There's no reason to do the whole thing. These are the rear corners. This is the front center beam. This is the rear center beam. Same thing here. I'm just going to epoxy what I need. I'm not going to paint anything but, but what's sanded. These are the front caps. This is the original one that I'm going to keep. But I am going to epoxy the cut throughs right in here to the metal. And then I'll put uh, body filler on all the other pieces. That one won't need it. Neither will this one. This is a OEM part. So these are just going to get epoxy so that I can get a good base to stick to the chrome. So these four pieces will get body filler. These will not. I'm not going to show spraying the epoxy. It's just going to be pretty boring. But I'll be back when I get ready to put body filler on all these four pieces here. And that'll just leave me prepping this piece here. I will need some epoxy on this, but I haven't had a chance to get it completely ready. I've gotten it all straightened up. The, the corners were folded in. There was a buckle in it over here. And a few of these mounting tabs, like for these uh, grill areas and, and uh, down at the bottom, the tabs that stick out were bent a little bit. Uh, but it's straight. It just needs to be sanded and, and painted uh, or epoxyed across this front to get all the scratches out and all the chips. But I'll get to that later. I'm going to prime that when I do some more on the M5. Um, these are going to be epoxy now. I'm going to let them sit for probably a day. And I'll put two coats on here just to give me enough to, to scuff sand if I need to. If for some reason they have to sit longer than that, I can be able to sand it with some 180 to uh, make the filler bite to it. I'm going to go ahead and get this on now, and I'll be back when I get ready for some filler. All right, I went ahead and put the body filler on these pieces. Couldn't do it all at once because it was going to start setting up on me, so I did half of this back center beam and mix up some more, finish this, put the rest of it on the front beam, mix up another batch, went across here, and then I just did these just together with another mix. Just along the top edge, right here on the sides, straight enough, and the molding is going to come up halfway over this anyway. I didn't want, to, didn't want to film this earlier because our power was out, so I didn't want to run my battery down and not be able to charge it back up since I'm using my phone. Um, so I got that on just a second ago. Power came back on. So I want to go ahead and show you this before I block it. It's just, just one wipe all the way down. There's a seam in the center of each of these pieces. So I'm going to block it out with 80 and then run the 180 over it. And then be ready to prime. I'll prime the same way, just down to here. I'll scuff, re scuff this. I'll tape it off and re scuff it. The epoxy's been on there for about two days now. So I'll get this blocked out here in a minute. This filler on the, I think this was the first piece I did. 
it took me a good 10 minutes to get all this on so in just a few minutes here this will be ready to block i think this is like a 10 to 15 minute cure on this uh this fast set quantum one so i'm gonna get to blocking in a minute all right ready for epoxy again i've got so much cut through to the metal that i'm gonna go ahead and just epoxy it again i've got the uh two end caps that need to be repainted here on my mirror holder well there's actually four but two of them need epoxy and primer the other two i could just scuff and seal later i am go ahead and get the epoxy on. It'll only take one coat this time. Got them all blocked out. There's still going to be a few high spots. Like these are these are going to be high where I cut down to the metal. But I can build up over that with the primer. I'm not going for 100% perfection here. That's what I want, but I'm just trying to get them smoothed out. As close as I can possibly get them. We'll get the epoxy on here, then it'll get three coats of uh, urethane after that. And I'll be back when I'm ready to paint these. It's just going to take a little while to wet sand them out and get them ready to go. But next thing I'll be painting this and at lower valence and lower front valence. I've still got to finish up that, uh, that steel valence that goes behind that one, but that'll be, be the last thing I do. All right, I've got these two valences ready to paint. This rear one is so flexible and it's so long that I'm trying to keep from cracking the primer on it. So I'm going to bolt it to this piece. I got these, these three pieces here for the rear bumper primed last night. I've got, I actually put both bolts in, took this one back out so I can block this. It's in the way of doing that. But since it's so flexible, that piece there, I'm going to bolt it to this and paint this as one, one big assembly so that nothing can flex. And the caps that go over the joints, this bolt here has to go through this piece. So this is going to have to go on prior to paint. And also, just, just from hooking it on and sliding it down, it could scratch the finish. And if it's not aligned just right, when you put it on, you could see that. So I'm going to paint, go ahead and block this, or I can put that bolt back in, and take this bolt out here bolt out of here and then I'll put this piece on bolt this back together so all this is together in one piece then the bottom valence will cover up the bottom part of this and that'll go on after after I get this assembly done ready to paint so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna block block this area put this bolt back in take this bolt out put this piece on put that bolt back in and then scuff sand this and I'll finish blocking the rest of the bumper in uh, the center beam of the bumper ends after this is all together and I'll put the valence on after that I'm just gonna have to paint the whole thing together that'll be the safest thing make sure nothing gets cracked and nothing gets scratched I'm trying to assemble it that he's got to drive it three hours away once once he picks it up so probably do the same thing to the front just bolt the front piece to pieces together and then bolt this to that and do it all together Okay, I've got the rear bumper built up. Just got some temporary bolts holding it together. We've got new fasteners for them, but I'm just going to leave it all bolted like this to paint it. I may just give it back to them like this. It needs to stay all, all together to not flex and take anything apart. You're going to risk scratching these pieces in here uh, with this cap. Also got this piece blasted. Found all the all the rusty spots on, on the inside. Just blasted around all in there. Mounting tabs that had some rust. Uh, same thing over here. We've got the outside part that's going to be seen, sanded down. It's bare metal. It's going to get all this is going to get epoxy just on the bare metal. I'm not going to worry about all this in here. It's got an undercoating on it, so it's it's still fine. There's no reason to do anything to that. And all that blasted. Same over here. And hit all this on the back side first with the epoxy. That way I can flip it over. If I, if I do the front first and flip it over, this will touch the rack. But right in here, let's see. Right in here, in, in this area, is where I've got the rack set. So it can touch those spots. I'm not going to put anything there. So I can flip it over and let it touch. That touch right there and right there. Nothing will get in contact with the rack. 
Got the epoxy mix, so like I said, about 30 minutes ago to get it ready for when it was time to put it on. So I'm going to go put it in the gun, get this on here. Then the next step will be to put some, some high build primer over the front edge here if the epoxy doesn't look smooth enough. May be able to put two coats of epoxy and lightly sand that when I get ready to paint. Let that be it. May not need any high build. I'm going to paint these two parts separate. This hangs down low enough below the, the edge of the uh, primer here. It hangs down, starts somewhere in here. It's not so close, uh, not as close as the other one to the top. So, And this is a lot stiffer plastic here. It's not near as flexible, so it's not really an issue. We'll do those separately. Probably going to try to do at least those, those three pieces there together. And I may do this separately. We'll see. I'll try to get it all in here at once if I can fit it. 